So we are back recording now. So the next part of this class now, what I want to do is I want to have us work on getting started with the R and R studio. And the way this works is that, and why first, let me just kind of set the context a little bit. In traffic and transportation nowadays, we're collecting a lot of data. And that data is being collected at very significant rate. And, and we have all these capabilities to gather data from mobile devices, getting data from our cars, getting data from, uh, from these video cameras. There's all sorts of data that is out there. And converting that data into information is a very, very important skill. And all of that starts with, obviously you do some of that with, with Excel, for example. I know you have, uh, all of you have taken, or at least most of you have taken already, the CE 251 class, if you are at Cal Poly or some other data analysis type of class. In, in Cal Poly, we focus on how do we have Excel and how do we connect Excel to Visual Basic then to write some macros and stuff like that to process large amount of data. And I'm not disputing the power of all those tools. Excel can be very, very powerful, especially when combined with Visual Basic. But, but Excel obviously is a tool that's, you know, you're gonna have access to for the most part. But one place where, you know, especially with regards to traffic safety, you're gonna be needing you're going to have to do some data analysis and you're going to have to do, do some statistical modeling and one programming language uh, software package that can be very handy in that is r r which is the programming language just by represented by letter r and the r studio is sort of the environment where we do our programming so r studio is what we call the ide the integrated development environment and IDE is similar to if you've seen MATLAB before, you know, you'll have a window for all your data, you'll have a window for your code, you'll have a window for your workspace and so forth. So I want you to be very familiar with R and R Studio, by no means a class that is just focusing on traffic, just it's focusing on traffic safety and using R as a tool, by no means it's gonna make you an expert in R programming by the time we end this class. However, what I want you to get at is at, at a, get to a point where you can take any data set and you can take that data set and start working that data in, in, in R. You can import data in R. If you, I want you to plot one variable versus the other. I want you to be able to do that. And what you will notice is that these skills can be so useful so let's say for your class project or something, for this class, obviously I'm gonna require the use of R, but even in some other classes, if you are asked to generate like multiple charts, in Excel, potentially you would do it by selecting different columns multiple times, and that could get very tedious. And in this, uh, if you have some knowledge of R, sometimes you will just be able to change the variable name, sort of import the data with the code, change the variable name and voila, you have uh, a chart that uh, you know, plots two variables and then your instructor says, hey, could you now plot this, this other variable with this other variable, all you have to do is just kind of change maybe uh, two lines of code and, and there you go. So I think these skills could be very valuable and I understand from, from talking to some of you over, over, over my time here at Cal Poly is that some of you are very apprehensive about programming and because you haven't done a lot of it, but R, I can assure you is, is a much uh, user-friendly, a very user-friendly programming uh, language. And with, if you use R Studio, it can be very, very um, you know, intuitive. And even when it's not very intuitive, you can always get good help on the internet. So anytime you search, do this in R, whatever that do this for you is, you will find some good help. Now, where I want you to be by the end of this class is that you being able to do that 
in in uh, you know to do anything. So what 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 are we going to use R for in this class? We're going to use that for some preliminary data analysis. So you're going to download some data later in the class using TIMS traffic injury mapping system database for that is maintained by UC Berkeley, but it has all the crashes that resulted in injury throughout the state of California. And you will get to get some experience working with those. And then also you'll get some experience uh, estimating what we call some regression models. And obviously you can do some traditional regression models in Excel too, um, but I'm not gonna let you do that in this class. We are gonna use R to be able to estimate some specific type of regression model. In this case, they will be um, negative binomial regression model. And those negative binomial regression models, the models, once they're estimated, we'll call them safety performance functions. So we are gonna obviously in this class use a lot of safety performance functions, but then also we'll, we'll using R, we'll also learn how to estimate safety performance functions and safety performance functions are sort of the backbone, sort of the under the hood stuff that goes into the highway safety manual. So, and we will develop those using R. And because R is so flexible and, and, and it's an open source software. So, I mean, the programming language is open source. Anybody can develop packages for them. So there are tons and tons of packages. So are out there and best of all, they're all free. So, so it's, it's a programming language and uh, RStudio is, is a free software. You can download it on any machine. And uh, R as a community of users for R, it's a very, very helpful community. So, so if you kind of like, you know, go deep into R and now you're using R for your work and so forth, and you end up doing that, but you can always reach out to the community for help. So, so if you go to R user forum or R studio user forums, those forums are very, very helpful. I personally have some experience with those things. I've been able to find some good help there when I've been using, and I myself am a newer, relatively new R user. I used to use SAS. I've done a lot of sort of statistical programming, estimation of models and so forth. But I used to use uh, SAS uh, for that. And SAS is a great program, great programming language. But the problem with SAS is that uh, it's, it has gotten very expensive. Even the academic licenses now are very expensive. And I could never get, like, obviously, we could not get all the students to kind of download and install SAS environment on their machines because the classroom user license came with some restrictions. So I switched to R because R is very much more flexible and it's freely available to everybody. So if you have a machine with a PC or if you have a, a Mac on PC or Mac, you could, you could use, um, you know, uh, you could use R for free, and that is that is great. So what I want to do today, and, and the tool that we're going to use to learn the basics of R is that 25-day advent calendar that I found last year and over Christmas break, and I kind of went through it at that time. I found it to be a useful tool for a beginner, even though I was not quite a beginner, but I found that to be a very useful tool to go through those exercises. And it says 25 days, but those are really like just maybe five, 10 minute exercises. Do certain things in R to make yourself comfortable. So when you move on to doing the actual data analysis, starting not this, this week, but starting the next week, you will be in good shape with that. So what I will do re recommend now is that, are there folks? So what I want to do now is that I want folks to raise hand who are on, uh, on Mac. Uh, folks who are on, who are gonna be using R on Mac. So just raise your hands. So I see four of you, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So what I'll do is I will, seven. So raise your hand via the raise hand button on, on so use raise hand button because then that way everybody gets sorted on top. So, so I know one of you has thumbs up, which is great, but, but raise hand. Does everybody know how to raise hand? Okay, perfect. Yeah, so, so there are nine of you that are on Mac and I'm assuming rest of, our, rest of you are on PC. So what I'll do is I will assign these nine students to be on different uh, you know, um, breakout rooms. So I'll assign you guys into different breakout rooms. Uh, so maybe I'll have three different breakout rooms for Mac users. And then rest of you, I'll assign them, assign you guys to, to the PC sort of rooms. 
PC breakout rooms. So that's one thing that I want to do. The other thing is that, is there anybody here, and now you can give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, I mean, or no thumbs up. Is there anybody here, and you can leave the raise hands for now, but give me a thumbs up uh, if you have any experience with R at all. Like if you have used R, if you have any experience with R at all, give me a little thumbs up here. Don't unraise your hand because I still want to know who is uh, who's on Mac, but give me a thumbs up if you are, if you have any sort of experience with R, if you worked with R at all before coming to this class. So there is nobody here like that, it looks like, which is fine. Okay, so, okay. So nobody has any experience with R because I don't see any thumbs up. I do see 10 raised hands and those folks are on Mac is what I'm assuming. Okay, perfect. So what I'll do is now I'm gonna uh, manually assign folks to breakout rooms and, and I'm gonna go ahead. And, uh, so I, I'm gonna, you know, maybe stop the recording now. So what, what our plan would be to look at the our videos advent calendar once I assign you each to a breakout room. So in your breakout rooms, you're gonna be in groups and I want everybody to sort of download the our advent calendar that I have on, on your Canvas page. And then there's basically 25 video playlist as well to go with that. And I want you to sort of, uh, you know, go about and start with that. And then start following the steps. And I will sort of circle back on, and I want you today's session, I only want you to go up to day seven, okay? Because after day seven, they actually start the data analysis. And I want to do work on that when I have some help available, which I plan to have on Thursday's session. So we'll start the Thursday session starting with day eight. And my goal today, before we end the session, is to make sure that we can all do up to day one through day seven material. So I'm gonna, you guys can open that up on your calendar, I mean, on your machines, and let me assign you to, to different breakout rooms, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start breakout rooms. Uh, and assign all manually. And I wanna create how many? So let's see if I have maybe three or four people groups. I have 24 participants that are students. So I'm probably gonna create eight different breakout rooms, or maybe nine because I, 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 I probably need like three to maybe for the Mac users because I have 10, let me raise hands. One, two, three, four, 10 raise hands. Okay, so 10 folks are on. I'm gonna assign maybe four rooms for Mac and then that'll leave me 14. Create nine breakout rooms, assign manually. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign Hannah. I'm going ahead and assigning. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording because that doesn't have to be recorded. I'm gonna... Okay, so we are wrapping up the discussion on uh, the 25 day exercises here. And we have done day one through day seven today and we'll pick up starting day eight in starting on Thursday at 8.10. So yeah, just remember the, the big, big takeaway is that you have, you have uh, the R, the programming language, and R Studio is the environment with which we interact with. So right now, what you're doing is you're learning R Studio, the IDE, the integrated development environment, and you are using it to run R. And then as we go along, and you will learn that R has a lot of packages, and we'll install packages as needed in the class. And then, you know, even in the advent calendar, we'll install more packages to get started with R. And, and then we'll learn more about like, you know, how different environments in R work, how there are different sort of ways of programming in R. There are no just one way of doing something in R. And then there is the whole this tidy verse environment that we use uh, that's just one way of programming within R Studio. So I will stop here now and I will see you guys on Thursday. Um,